Finding journal articles for your psychology classes doesn't have to be a challenge. Bracket Library provides thousands of journals that can be accessed anywhere, not only on Harding campus and not only in the library. To find our journals, we'll start at the library website. In the past, you may have used PowerSearch, but we want to go to specific databases that are set up for psychology students, so we'll use this A to Z database list. In addition to the alphabetical list, there's a subject sorter. We'll choose psychology from the list and find the resources that are best for psychology classes. Psych Info and Social Index will be the most helpful to you for this assignment, but we want to look at Psych Info. Spend a few minutes thinking about topics that you want to know more about. Are you interested in mindfulness? After entering your search term, the first list of results will have usually thousands, depending on what you're looking into. I recommend having a smaller list of more focused results, and to do that, we're going to come over here to this left-hand side of the page. If you open up the subject limiter, you can see different aspects of this topic or related ideas. In academic research, many times we're looking for the connection between two different topics. And so maybe you want to know how is mindfulness connected to major depression. You can select any topic and you can see that our result list is much smaller and much more focused now. Remember that your assignment is to find academic journal articles. If you look at the source types, you can see that many of these are books or they may be dissertations. So select academic journals and now our list will be even smaller. If you're going to spend time reading, you might as well read things that are interesting to you. Look through any list of results that you find and read the titles carefully. The titles of academic journal articles will tell you a lot about the content of the article. Effectiveness of Brief Psychological Mindfulness-Based Intervention for the Treatment of Depression in Primary Care, Study Protocol for a Randomized Controlled Clinical Trial. Just by looking at this title, we can learn that this is a clinical trial, that it was um, a controlled population, and that it was looked at the uh, mindfulness as an intervention for the treatment of depression. If that sounds interesting to you, select that title, and you can find more information here in the detailed record. I'm a big advocate of reading abstracts. Abstracts are a one paragraph summary of the entire article. So by reading this, you can know whether or not this article is going to be helpful for you. To read the full text of the article, you'll look to the left. If you have the option between HTML full text and PDF full text, I recommend using the PDF because then you will be looking at the article the very same way that it looked in print. You can download this to save, you can print it, you can add it to Google Drive and save it there. You can email it to yourself. There are also citation helps in PsycInfo, but keep in mind that this APA has not been updated to 7th edition, so check to see which edition of APA you are required to use for your class. Any of the limiters that you set can be taken off. So if you want to look at a larger variety of things and not just look at depression, then we can take this limit off. And if you want to focus even more, here are some other ways that PsycInfo can help you. Is there a specific test that you're looking for? Maybe you know about the perceived stress scale and you want to see what mindfulness has to do with that. So you can select that. Or the Beck Depression Inventory. Using this limiter will let you see the articles that only deal with this specific test or measurement. Do you want to focus more on females or males? Are you interested in working with a specific age group? PsycInfo has wonderful limiters that can help you focus your results and get the information that you're looking for. Some of the articles in PsycInfo will have this link that says retrieve full text. Like all things technology, this will work sometimes and sometimes it won't, but it's always worth trying. 
with this article it found it in Science Direct and again you can download the PDF and one thing I really like about Science Direct is that it will give you these other articles to the right that are on a similar topic. There will be articles that do not have a full text link or have the full text included. If the article you need doesn't have the full text or a link to the full text, we can request that article through Interlibrary Loan. It takes a couple of days to get it, but there's no charge. If you have any questions about using the databases, be sure to contact me. I'll be glad to help however I can. You can schedule an appointment and we'll meet virtually, or you can email me at lfuller at harding.edu. Good luck with your project.